Good morning. It is midweek. It's a Wednesday and I'm just about to head off to work. I've not held this camera in my hand for like two months now, so it does feel strange, but it feels really good at the same time. Um, I have been getting so many messages on Instagram saying like, oh, thanks for your videos. Um, are you going to film any more? Can you do some more vlogs? Like as to your daily life. So I thought, yeah, today I've got a really packed day. So I thought no better time to film than today. Um, so basically the plan is I'm going to go to the cafe near the station, get some breakfast. I am running like just on time. So I have to be quick for that. Then I am going to go to work. I'll be on the wards in the morning. At lunchtime they'll be teaching. Then in the afternoon in dispensary. And after that I'm planning on seeing one of my really good friends, Alice, who was in one of my videos previously. And we're just going to go to Shoreditch and, you know, get some dinner, have some drinks. So yeah, but the only thing is, when I am in hospital and on the wards and stuff, like, I can't start, like, filming charts and stuff. Like, I, I really wish I could, like, whilst admitting all of the names and, like, talk about it, but I can't because you're not allowed to film on the ward. But I'll try my best to capture some form of template of what my day looks like. arrived to the hospital and I've sneaked into like a meeting room just to film this part of the video because obviously I can't film on the ward. Oh yeah, so first of all, randomly, I bumped into one of my university friends, hey Nadine, just on the tube. So that was crazy. First thing I did today was print off the ward list and I just go through my patients and see who's new. And then I've got like a kind of idea of what the day's gonna look like as I come up the elevator. And then I'll go to the clinic room now and just check what the nurses have ordered, whether there's any antibiotics that need to be like ordered urgently. And then I get on with the meds rex. And as I'm doing the meds rex, the nurses or the discharge coordinator comes and gives me TTAs, which are the discharge letters. And so I'll prioritize according to like where the patient's going, do they need to go now? How urgent is it? And so yeah, I balance like like doing the meds rex with the TTAs, depending on what is more urgent. And once I've covered that, then I'll go through the bays and look through all the charts and see if there's anything new, why patients have been prescribed something, then I'll go look in the notes, and that's it. But I can't be late today because there's teaching at one o'clock. And I really don't like going to teaching because, I mean, I think, I know it's really like useful and stuff, but I prefer like separating my lunch times and having it completely pharmacy free. But I have to go today. So I'm just gonna hope that I finish on time and then get to teaching. And after teaching, it will be dispensary. So what I want you to do is go through this and check that all the meds on the chart matches what's on the discharge letter. Does that mean so it take a little while for it to actually be discharged? Yeah, because this, this so especially if they're a gossip. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. Gossip needs to be prepared. Exactly, but um, it depends if it's urgent. So if they're in discharge lounge or like getting transported, then we fast track those. Yeah. So we're, I think we can really make a difference in terms of that patient oh, okay. discharging in a year. So I thought I'd give you a quick update. I'm actually like in the toilets right now because I can't film on the ward, but I've had the busiest, most hectic morning ever. I had five new patients and then uh, like a renal medicines reconciliation to do, which is like twice as hard. And then I got a call from pharmacy being like, where are you? You're supposed to take a student with you today. And I'd completely forgotten. So the student came and then I was trying to explain like how the ward runs and stuff like that to the patient, uh, the student. Luckily he was a really, really nice student. So he just got on with what he had to get on with. And then we went through um, how to screen a discharge letter. And also he spoke to a patient and his daughter. So I watched that. So yeah, it, it was successful, but it's just hectic, and now I'm going to run to dispensary. Luckily, teaching has been cancelled today because of the whole coronavirus stuff. So 
I'm just taking my free reg out for lunch today, aren't we? And we're gonna go to this nice place. See what's in here anyway. Oh, the menu's on the outside. You can have a look before you go. Um, I'm eating salad because I'm a bit chubby at the moment because free reg just makes me eat loads Oh yeah, I wanna ask you some questions. Okay, fine. So, um, how are you finding free reg right now? Uh, <laughs> I have days when I like love it, I have days when I don't like it so much. So I just had lunch. Hi. And this is Gavin. <laughs> it's one of my favourite guys I'm just feeling the TTA. Yep, and then you're going to go to lunch, right? I'm going to lunch literally now. Okay, so that is the plan and I'm going to carry on screening um, and take over Gavin soon. Don't you think half the time we spend on our phones trying to get through to the ward? Yeah. We've, ha we've got the book as well. Um, but you've sent down the wrong chart. Um, so it's just for clindamycin. It's the chart I have right now to order medication. It's not even seen by pharmacists, so I'm going to have to do the whole meds rec before I approve um, the drugs. And this is Fazana. Hi guys. I'm going to be checking since it's the bane of my life and I love yeah. it so much. No, this girl loves pharmacy. No, I don't. We've just filled this out. Yeah. This will be in your next video, Jake. Will it? Oh gosh. Yeah, we're 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 um, at the same stage of our diploma, aren't we? Except this girl's much further yeah. ahead than me, so. They were big buns. And then I ordered a massive main and a side as well. So but it was we really good. everything, but we tried a lot of stuff, which is amazing. And now, where are we off to? We are off to Barrio Shoreditch, which is one of my favorite like after work drinking places. Um, and hopefully you'll like it as well. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. But I'm not, I'm 